The GoPros will kick off their national tour this upcoming Thanksgiving week, November 24th through 30, in the very intimate Hollywood Theater. It only seats 680 people, so it will be a great venue to see the GoGos. Um, we're holding this press conference today because today is the day that their new double CD compilation uh, Return to the Valley of the Go-Go's hits record stores throughout the country. Belinda, Charlotte, Gina, Jane, and Kathy, the Go-Go's. Right, well, IRS Records um, was planning to release a retrospective with or without our involvement, and um, we decided it would be a better, you know, overall record of our involvement because we had a lot of tapes and things that they didn't have. And then we thought it'd be fun to record some songs if they turned out well and um, touring is something that we like to do. Um, when we got back together to write, um, as a closer, um, it, it was like riding a bicycle. I mean, it's just exactly the same. It, you know, we, we have a very special bond, and, and we're really good friends. So it's just, you know, and we're having as much fun as we did then. That, that's, um, you know, that's a possibility, because when we got together, we, we sat down for like about three weeks and came up with nine songs. and and we were amazed that we came up with so much material. And what we did for this, we picked out what we thought the three best were, we put them on this record. But um, considering the lack of time we had and the amount of songs that we came out with, I mean, I think that there's probably a good chance that, that, we, that we might be doing a, a record next year um, because it was so easy to write these songs, it was so easy to arrange them, and it was great fun sitting down and rehearsing them. Back then, the Go-Go's were pretty much the extent of our whole lives, and now everybody's, you know, got pretty full lives, and we'd like the Go-Go's to be a part of our lives, but not to be the, the entire life. We, we wanted to come to Vegas, first of all, and we thought MGM Grand would be a great place to play. We've all been here before, and it's, you know, it's a neat, it's a neat venue, first of all, to play in. And um, so here we are. Entertainment capital. Yeah, we are. We are in the entertainment capital world. That's right. <laughs> who is the chief songwriter? Who writes the music? Who writes the lyrics? And how do you go? We're going to do all go go stuff, and we're going to do some um, older stuff that we haven't played in probably 12 years or something. So there will be new songs uh, for the for all our fans and uh, plus our new material. But we don't, I don't think we're going to do anybody's solo stuff. We have so much to choose from. Like, picking up out our set list was so hard because there was just so many songs, and we all had our favorite ones. So it's kind of it's kind of just an effort to trim it down to you know 20 songs to begin with. We originally only planned to come to Vegas because we just really want to come here because it'd be fun, and then. <laughs> Our management said, well, you did better do an L.A. show if you're going to rehearse for Vegas. So then after we said, okay, well, we'll do Vegas in L.A. And then they said, well, you better do New York. And it kind of just escalated. <laughs> Thank you. I'm saying it. 